O Lord, you are my portion and my cup. It is you who uphold my lot. My boundaries enclose a pleasant land. Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel. My heart teaches me night after night. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not fall. My heart, therefore, is glad, and my spirit rejoices. My body also shall rest in hope. For you will not abandon me to the grave, nor let your Holy One see the pit. You will show me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy, and in your right hand are pleasures evermore. Today we remember Scholastica, monastic. All that is known about St. Scholastica is found in Book 2 of the Dialogues of St. Gregory the Great. And although that sounds like sparse evidence, the same is also true of Scholastica's more famous brother, St. Benedict. It is said that Scholastica and Benedict were twins, and when Benedict left the world to become a hermit, Scholastica had already dedicated herself to God. The location of her first refuge is unknown, but after her brother moved his monastic community to Monte Cassino, Scholastica established a convent in Plumbariola, about five miles to the south of Benedict's monastery. Since St. Gregory informs us that Benedict ruled over the nuns as well as monks, it is likely that Scholastica served as prioress of her convent under Benedict's direction. It is also certain that Scholastica's nuns were strictly cloistered and contemplative, true of virtually all women's religious communities until the 17th century. The brother and sister were permitted to visit each other once a year, and since neither was allowed to enter the other's enclosed monastery or convent, Benedict would go with some of his monks to visit Scholastica at a gatehouse of Monte Cassino to confer on spiritual matters. St. Gregory relates a description of the last of these visits. After Benedict and Scholastica had passed the day as usual, they sat down for the evening meal. When it was finished, Scholastica, possibly foreseeing that because of her failing health, this might be their last visit, prevailed upon her brother to delay his leaving until the next day so that they could spend more time together. Benedict said that according to rule, he could not spend the night away from his monastery. When Scholastica found she could not convince him, she laid her head upon her hands that were clasped together on the table and silently begged God to intervene on her behalf. Her prayer had scarcely ended when there arose such a violent thunder and lightning storm that the monks could not set foot outside the door. God forgive you, sister, said Benedict. What have you done? And Scholastica replied, I asked a favor of you, and you refused it. So I asked the same favor of God, and he granted it. And so the brother and sister spent the hours of the night talking about holy things and joys of heaven. In St. Gregory's own words, she had the greater power who had the greater love. The next morning, the brother and sister parted, parted and three days later, Scholastica died. Benedict was alone at that time in his cell, absorbed in prayer, and he lifted up his eyes and through the window saw his sister's soul ascending to heaven in the form of a dove. Joyful at her happiness, he thanked God 
and went to announce her death to the rest of his brothers. He then sent some of the monks to fetch her body, and after the funeral, Scholastica's body was placed in the tomb Benedict had prepared for himself. So it happened, St. Gregory wrote, that those two whose minds had always been united in the Lord were united even in the same grave. Let us pray. O God, whose blessed Son became poor, that we through his poverty might be rich. Deliver us from an inordinate love of this world, that we, inspired by the devotion of your servant Scholastica, may serve you with singleness of heart and attain to the riches of the age to come. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.